Today we have Dr. Omar Khalidi, author of um, famous books, uh, Khaki and Ethnic Violence and uh, Muslims in Indian Economy. Dr. Omar Khalidi, the recent judgment on uh, Babri Masjid title suit delivered by um, Lucknow Bench of the Allahabad High Court, it relied heavily on Archaeological Survey of India uh, excavation report. Uh, what is your opinion about that report? I think that uh, report by ASI is deeply flawed because it talks about a massive Hindu structure on the site of the uh, mosque. But I think the uh, default with this uh, uh, report is that not every pre-Islamic structure is necessarily Hindu because there are many, many different religious structures uh, within the broad category called uh, Indian religions. So it could have been a Buddhist temple, it could have been a Jain structure and of other deities, so not necessarily a Hindu temple. I think that itself is a, an erroneous category. Uh, to identify every pre-Islamic building as Hindu is highly questionable and false. And, um, uh, but why would ASI do that? I mean, uh, you know, they, they go by evidence and, uh, you know, archaeological, I hope, uh, you know, practices. No, I think uh, uh, the Indian uh, archaeology is highly influenced by the ideolo prevailing ideologies and in particular the ideology of Hindutva. So what they are uh, basing uh, their uh, report is a archaeology in the service of ideology of Hindutva. So that uh, the way Indian monuments are interpreted are in very orientalist uh, fashion that uh, seem to divide India into neat categories of uh, ancient India, regardless of what religious or cultural uh, entity that was uh, in power at the time. Secondly, Muslim, third, British. So that these neat categories are fallacious and uh, the ASI is still under that influence. So can you give, give us some, some examples of, of what you are claiming? Right. So for, in, uh, for instance, uh, the Purana Qila in uh, Delhi mm -hmm. uh, it has been identified as the site of a uh, Indo-Gangetic civilization which uh, is not borne out by any of the uh, scientific archaeological principles. Just because the uh, Mohenjo-daro civilization was quote-unquote lost to India because uh, Sindh became part of Pakistan, mm -hmm. uh, the Indian archaeologists led by Bibi Lal and others who were students of uh, Mortimer Wheeler, the last British Archaeological Survey of India chief, decided to search for an alternate site of archaeology that would make uh, that archaeolo archaeological site as the first signs of Indian civilization that is interpreted as Hindu civilization. So therefore, I think uh, uh, the flaw begins right after independence to give an ideological tinge to the work of ASI. And so, so you still you're saying that ASI still continue to um, uh, do that work, meaning uh, you know undermining uh, Islamic heritage of India or Muslim heritage of India. Uh, uh, in in addition to in addition to not only undermining necessarily the Islamic heritage of India, but also uh, presenting a homogeneous view of Indian civilizations as if before the arrival of the Muslim rulers or Muslim uh, chiefs. There were uh, a one single Indian civilization. There were many, many uh, uh, regional and um, uh, civilizations based on their particular uh, geography and culture and climate. That is being effaced to present a homogeneous view of Indian archaeology. 
and in uh, later developments the ASI has tried to efface uh, Islamic monuments of India through numerous examples and I can give you a few if yes, you please. are interested. Yes. So for instance uh, right after uh, 1948 Operation Polo against Hyderabad the uh, Jama Masjid in Dalatabad in what is now Maharashtra has been converted into a Bharat Mata Mandir. Uh, the very name itself is so crassly and candidly contemporary that it makes a mockery of any kind of uh, ancient temple but uh, it has been named as Bharat Mata Mandir. In Sasaram in uh, Bihar for instance the magnificent uh, mausoleum of Shesha Suri uh, is being encroached through the insertion of uh, three temples today uh, so that the uh, magnificent monument is being overshadowed by the new temples and that is against the law because no modern structure can come into a an ISI protected place of, uh, uh, of heritage Two examples. Now, the third example is where in uh, in Hyderabad, the in the Charminar, there is a modern temple protruding out of a ancient uh, monument protected by the ASI. And in 1970, on the southeast corner of the of uh, Charminar, a uh, <coughs> small stone that was uh, kum kum sprinkled. Uh, began uh, as a Bhagya Lakshmi temple and today it's a massive temple. So, the, uh, and then uh, all the major gates and monuments of Golconda and Qutub Shai Hyderabad are uh, riddled with temples and icons, symbols and figures of Hindu uh, religious uh, significance. That yeah, all these are under jurisdiction, jurisdiction of ASI. They yeah. indeed are under the jurisdiction of the ASI. And, and how do you see it uh, as opposed to that there are some mosques that are under jurisdiction of uh, ASI but uh, Muslims are not able to, you know, they, they are prevented to pray there. Yeah, that is a completely separate category. There are I think about 118 uh, mosques uh, all over India that are under the protection, quote-unquote protection of ASI in which uh, prayers are either barred or permitted only on certain occasions and that too I think on individual basis, not collective Bajamat Namaz for instance. So uh, that is a separate category and uh, uh, to be fair this uh, uh, came much before independence. But the ASI continues that and the the uh, problem is that uh, the Ilaba, the, uh, the most recent judgment of Babri Masjid is fraught with uh, huge consequences on this particular angle because unlike the 1991 Act, Protection of Places of Religious Act 1991 that protects places of religious worship that were in active use as places of worship in 1991, the mosques under the control of ASI are exempt from that. Mm. So not only that the Babri Masjid was exempt from this 1991 act, but uh, it is also true that those places of worship that were not active places of worship in 1991, such as the 118 mosques that I just mentioned, are also up for grabs. In other words, the uh, Ilabad uh, judgment, the, the judgment of the Lucknow, uh, Lucknow court opens up claims on these 118 mosques which are theoretically under the protection of ASA.